name is Marcello. Welcome to the Source AV Design Group's YouTube channel. Today we will look at the WA22 Balance Headphone Tube Amplifier and Preamplifier from our friends at Woo Audio. This video will primarily discuss my impressions of the amplifier regarding build quality, design, and sound quality. We have some exciting news to share with you. On Saturday, August 5th from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. at our TSAV Torrance, California showroom, we will be hosting a Woo Audio VIP event in conjunction with the Los Angeles and Orange County Audio Society. Woo Audio will launch a new innovative product at this VIP event. We will also have the new Woo Audio product in for review on this channel before the launch, so don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can see our impressions of the new product when it is announced if you're not able to attend the live listening event. With that said, let's talk about the WA-22, which is designed and assembled in New York, USA. Introduced in 2009 and improved in 2018 with better sonic performance for Generation 2 and a preamplifier was added for use with a hi-fi setup. According to Woot, the WA-22 is a 100% tube design that is a fully balanced Class A headphone amplifier and preamplifier. The balanced design helps to improve channel separation, soundstage accuracy, and imaging. The WA-22 is a self-biasing tube design when using compatible tubes. The amplifier uses five tubes, two of which are 6SN7 driver tubes, which is fantastic as I have a few high quality 6SN7 tubes I look forward to rolling with this amplifier. The WA-22 will be with me going forward as one of my main reference headphone tube amplifiers for all the headphone videos we create. So stay tuned for a future tube rolling video on the WA-22 as this video will focus on the included stock tubes from Woo Audio. The WA-22 uses PTFE tube sockets with two 6080 power tubes and a 5U4G rectifier tube. If you own one, drop us a comment on your favorite tubes for the WA-22 so I can get a few options for the future tube rolling video. On the amp's front is a high quality Alps RK27 4 channel balanced smooth potentiometer. Next are balanced 3 pin XLR left and right outputs if you run individual cables into your headphones. Next you have a 4 pin balanced stereo XLR headphone output followed by a quarter inch single ended output. Lastly you can turn the amplifier off or to high or low depending on the type of headphones you are listening to and whichever setting sounds better to you. For the majority of headphones featured in this video I prefer the low setting. If you turn all the way to the right, you have the preamplifier selection. The WA-22 is a transformer coupled design, and judging by the size of the amplifier weight and ballsy sound, it uses pretty beefy transformers in its build. The amplifier has point-to-point -point wiring and a pseudo dual power supply and utilizes a phase splitter with unbalanced components. On the back of the amplifier, you will find the AC inlet, voltage selector, and three pin XLR preamp outputs, followed by the left and right RCA and balanced XLR inputs, with a selector for selecting between unbalanced and balanced. Also included are two caps for the RCA inputs that should be left in according to the manufacturer when using the balanced audio inputs. The chassis of the WA-22 is available in black or silver and is made of anodized aluminum standing 7 inches high, 12 inches wide, and 10 and a half inches deep, weighing a hefty 25 pounds. You will need to choose a power cord for the amplifier as one is not included, however this allows you to further tailor your system along with upgraded tubes to make the audio system your own. Lastly, the amplifier includes a quick start guide, tubes, and a 3 year limited warranty. The amplifier is handsome to look at when listening to and enjoying music. Let's be honest, if we are spending $2,699 on a headphone tube amplifier and preamp, it should sound excellent but also look good. I have yet to demo a product from Woo Audio that doesn't check both boxes with flying colors. This amplifier sits in a sweet spot in their lineup, allowing for use with high impedance dynamic driver and low impedance planner magnetic headphones. So for the headphone enthusiast who owns both and is looking for an amplifier that delivers sonically, the WA-22 should be considered. For more info on the WA-22 and other products discussed in this video, please visit the links in the video description. For this video, I listened to the WA-22 via the single-ended inputs in my office paired with my Cord Hugo 2 as the DAC. I paired the WA-22 with my Cord Hugo TT2 as the DAC via the balanced inputs in my speaker listening room. I utilized the preamplifier feature of the WA-22 balanced outputs into the Cord CPM3350 integrated stereo amplifier and my reference Sonos Farber Olympica Nova 5 towers. Since this video is a long one with many headphone impressions, for the sake of time I will tell you that preamplifier sounded very good and capable in my hi-fi system and the tubes were highly enjoyable to mix into the equation with the integrated cord amplifier. All the music for my impressions was from several playlists I have created on Rune and the CanJam Global playlist on Rune. I use both Cobuzz and Tidal for streaming services, listening to seven different headphones to see how well the amplifier synergizes and drives the headphones, and even made some brief comparisons to the WA-2 OTL headphone tube amplifier with my Sennheiser HD650 and Sennheiser 660S2 for you Sennheiser headphone lovers. 
With that said, buckle up and let's get down to business. The WA-22 has a classic old school tube sound while staying true to Wu Audio's house sound, which means the amplifier is not slow or overly lush. I would describe the WA-22 as warmer, punchier, and a bit thicker sounding than some of the other Wu amps I have demoed at home thus far. With the included tubes, even paired with what many consider to be a bit analytical sounding DAC such as the Chord TT2 or Hugo 2, the warmer, thicker sound of the WA-22 influences all my headphones with its impactful, bold, romantic rich sonic character. However, there is still enough sparkle on the top end presentation to appreciate the tack and hiss of kick drums, the crispness and presence of snare drums, the sizzle of hi-hats, and the sparkle of cymbals. This amplifier will, however, help the tame brighter sounding headphones and better balance their signature for a more pleasurable listening experience, creating deeper bass and a rich organic open sounding mid-range. Of course, it will significantly depend on the song's production, the DAC, and the headphones you use if you find the WA-22 to align with your preferences. If you seek a more neutral signature from your tube amplifier, you can look elsewhere in the Wu lineup such as the WA-23 Luna or the WA-2 OTL. For my taste, I find the WA-22 to be deliciously glowing with pure tube warmth and a sound different from any other tube headphone amplifier I have in the house. Pairing up the WA-22 with the Odyssey LCD-5 is a match made in heaven for my preferences. The LCD-5 are my most detailed mid-forward headphones, which I enjoy in smaller doses on my solid-state cord headphone amps or other in-house headphone tube amplifiers. However, this differs when paired with the WA-22 as I can listen to the LCD-5 for hours. The WA-22 complements the LCD-5 so well and the weaknesses those headphones have for my preferences. The headphones bass becomes fuller, the slam of the drivers on punchy bass lines becomes more prominent, and the upper mid-range is tamed a bit to make for a spectacular listening experience. Vocals are unique with warmth, euphony, and an addictive quality from female singers like Melody Gardot, Alina Dooney, Nora Jones, Gretchen Parlato, Enya, and many more. Male vocals also sound excellent listening to some of my favorite artists such as Dire Straits, The Grateful Dead, Pearl Jam, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, The Weeknd, The Doors, and Bob Dylan to name a few. The sound of the guitar and electric guitar with a WA-22 and LCD-5 is also spectacular listening to Once Upon a Time in the West, Sultans of Swing, and Money for Nothing from Dire Straits. Hands down of all the headphones in my house that I listened to with a WA-22, the LCD-5 was one of my favorite pairings, better than any parametric EQ I've used through Rune or my desktop Locus tone control for the LCD-5. If you're an LCD-5 owner and wish the headphones had a bit more bass, more punch to their sound, and a bit more relaxed upper mid-range, I highly recommend you consider giving the WA-22 combo a listen if you haven't found your perfect system yet for those headphones. Moving to another planar magnetic headphone and a personal favorite headphone of mine, the Meze Elite. The Meze Elite and the WA-22 pair very well with most music I enjoy. Since the Meze Elite are a highly sensitive headphone and the WA-22 is one of the more powerful headphone amplifiers in the Wu lineup, there is a slightly noticeable noise floor when music is not playing. However, once the music is playing, it's not audible, but still worth mentioning that if you own highly sensitive headphones, other amplifiers from Wu, like the WA-8, will have a lower noise floor. There is a bit more bass bloom from the Elite compared to what I was hearing with the LCD-5, which sounds good for most music I listen to from rock, pop, metal, classical, jazz, electronic, and alternative. However, heavy bass produced music from artists like Billie Eilish pushed the limit for my taste with several of her tracks and this pairing, so it will depend on the song's production and genre of music. For instance, listening to Infected Mushroom Shroomies was a slam-tastic bass pumping good time with the Meze Elite and WA-22, and the extra bass bloom, slam, and warmth of the WA-22 I felt complemented this type of music quite well to give a nightclub or desert dweller Black Rock City type of listening experience. Listening to the Terra Firma album from Tosh Sultana, who is on tour right now at the time of filming this video, was magnificent with the Mazzi Elite and WA-22 combo. I consider the Mazzi Elite a slightly warmer than neutral headphone already, and the WA-22 kicks that up a notch in the bass and mid-range. So if you are an Elite owner, this is one you will want to demo together with your DAC to see if it's a good match for your preferences. I am much easier to please by more mid-range warmth and additional lower end emphasis versus brighter top ends and overly forward upper mid-ranges as my hearing is sensitive to those areas. So I'm very fond of the Meze Elite and WA-22 combination for most of the music I listen to. Remember, my impressions are with the stock tubes from Wu, so sonically, if the sound isn't the exact match you want for your Elite headphones, that is where the fun of two rolling comes into play. 
One thing I haven't mentioned so far, which is essential, is the soundstage. Compared to other amps I've heard in the Wu lineup, I don't find the WA-22 with the stock tubes to have a vast sounding soundstage. What you gain with the WA-22 is a bit more depth and the three-dimensionality of tube harmonics, which dynamically float vocals and instruments on the stage. That is not to say the WA-22 doesn't have a detailed, defined, well-imaging stage, because it does. Just not a soundstage presentation that exaggerates a headphone stage, and in my listening, didn't create extra width for my headphones with the stock tubes. If the headphones have a wide stage, they will continue to have a wide stage, just not necessarily as wide sounding as the more expensive WA-23 Luna from Woo. Moving to the more challenging to drive AMT driver technology of Head Audio's headphone, I queued up one of my favorite albums to listen to with the headphone, Hans Zimmer's Live in Prague. From the album's opening, I knew I was in for a treat. Now we have a set of headphones that, in my experience, have fantastic sound staging and superb treble with a truly unfatiguing sound quality. Pair that sound with the hard-hitting, euphonic, bold sound of the WA-22, and the headphone was an absolute joy to listen to. For my preferences, the headphone has always been a very amp-dependent listen for me. If the amplifier doesn't have enough juice, the natural beauty the head can display doesn't truly come to life. If an amplifier doesn't sound punchy or ballsy, the head presents very little punch or slam, something I like when listening to music to create a genuinely visceral listening experience. The sonic synergy between the WA-22 and head is fantastic, making it one of my favorite pairings in this video. The head is one of my favorite headphones for orchestral, movie scores, and classical compositions. When paired up with the WA-22 and my core DAX, I couldn't stop listening to the Zimmer Live and Prague album, and I endured the 718 gram weight of the headphone for more than half the album because the sound of the WA-22 and head combo was too damn emotionally moving to stop listening. It's a good thing I have incorporated the Iron Neck Pro into my weekly workout routines. Moving into the dynamic driver headphones first with a legendary Sennheiser HD800S. I continue to listen to the Live and Prog album as the HD800S is one of my other favorite headphones for classical and orchestral compositions. The WA-22 combo did not disappoint and the incredible HD800S soundstage, pinpoint sniper-like imaging, and detailed presentation of the headphones sound lovely paired with the WA-22. The warmer low end and open yet warm sounding mid-range presentation of the WA-22 combined with the HD-800S make for a beautiful listening experience, helping to tame some of the bright treble spikes and lift the very anemic sounding bass of the HD-800S. So far, the Wu Audio WA-22 is making a case for a Goldilocks tube amplifier under $3,000 that plays well with many different headphone sound signatures and build types, whether low impedance planar magnetic, AMT, or high impedance 300 ohm dynamic headphones. With the ability to roll tubes, a preamplifier, and a balanced design, the WA-22 makes a strong case for the only headphone tube amplifier a listener may need for their entire headphone collection without spending upwards of $5,000 or more. The HD-800S is a great pairing with the WA-22, and choosing the perfect tube complement would likely make it an exceptional pairing. However, I still may lean towards the sound of the smaller Wu Audio WA-8 Eclipse headphone amplifier and DAC as one of my favorite pairings for the HD-800S. So we tried a high impedance 300 ohm dynamic set of headphones. How about lower impedance dynamic headphones such as the Focal Stelia, my reference closed back headphones. The quality of sound of the Stelia when paired with the WA-22 is great, and the engaging, detailed, dynamic, yet intimate signature of the Stelia shined. Since the Stelia has beryllium drivers and are highly sensitive headphones, the powerful WA-22 is probably overkill for such a sensitive set of headphones, and I noticed a bit of noise floor with the Stelia when the music wasn't playing. I couldn't turn the amplifier up past 9 o'clock on the volume control before the headphones volume levels reached unsafe listening levels to give you an idea of the power that WA-22 possesses. Finally, I listened to the HD650 and HD660S2 and made some brief comparisons with the Wu Audio WA-2 OTL headphone tube amplifier. The 650 and 660S2 were very intoxicating to listen to with the WA-22, bringing forth better dynamics and punch and improving both headphone sound stages compared to a solid state amplifier. There is also a noticeable increase in the bass region as you would suspect by now based on previous impressions in the video. It's a tough call, but I would lean toward the better sound staging of the 660S2 when paired with the WA-22 over the HD650. I love both headphones, but the 660S2 edges out the HD650 when paired with the WA-22 for my preferences. Comparing the less powerful transformerless design of the WA-2 OTL with the WA-22 with the HD650 and 660S2, I enjoyed both amplifiers. However, I feel the WA-22 offers a more potent punch, a bigger and bolder sound with a warmer tone and more significant size images on its more intimate sounding soundstage. 
The WA-20TL offers a more neutral sound signature with more top-end sparkle, detail presentation, clarity, and a more comprehensive, more three-dimensional sounding soundstage with less punch or slam paired with the HD650 and 660S2. So suppose you only own high impedance dynamic headphones and don't plan on adding low impedance planar magnetic or harder to drive headphones to your stable of headphones and you don't need a preamplifier. The WA-2 is an excellent option and one of my favorite pairings for the HD650 and 660S2. However, if you are thinking of adding more headphones down the road or have planar magnetic headphones currently or harder to drive headphones, the WA-22 is the direction I recommend. Thanks to Woo Audio for sending out these fabulous headphone tube amplifiers for us to check out. I can't wait to share more info about their upcoming product with you. If you are interested in trading up your old headphones, amplifiers, or other gently used audio gear for a new set of headphones or a new amplifier, check out the links in the video description to our trader program, and don't forget we will price match other authorized dealers. We have some cool videos coming this year with new product announcements, so please consider subscribing today to our channel. From $150 earphones to multi-million dollar home audio, cinema, and automation systems, TSAV is a hi-fi enthusiast paradise for building the system of your dreams. So let's start the conversations in the video comments on what you think of the WA-22. Do you have a favorite headphone pairing or set of tubes? While you're there, smash that like button for us. Until next time, friends, remember, let the music be your guide.